rigmarole that comes with a, a full 90 minute contest as the players make their way out led by a quartet of match officials as is customary come with the players have had to wait around quite some time Kaiser Chiefs Wendy the Duba from the, uh, the reserve side is in the mix uh, as well and for Amazulu installed from the very beginning, uh, Rani Pwali, who came on as a sub in the semi final. Kalisa Kanene didn't feature in uh, that game. Same true of Augustine Krim, also came on as. The, uh, the shootout, I can tell you now, yes, who the goalkeepers are expected to concede from a two match uh, from a penalty start. If you do make a save, it's fantastic, it's almost uh, credit to you, but. Uh, the real pressure goes to the takers and I think uh, that is what uh, these goalkeepers have come to understand that uh, they're the takers that are more worried than them. Well the first taker for Kaiser Chiefs, Koskibili Ngobo, was no longer on the park at the end of proceedings against Orlando Pirates so not afforded the opportunity to try and convert from 12 yards he has a cultured left and looking to stick one past Bafana Bafana's number two. So Mopo and Oren from the spot and Kaiser Chiefs have converted their first. The pressure now moves to Amazulu and William the rumors swirled in the stadium uh, prior to today's proceedings that this third fourth penalty shootout might uh, take the form of how they used to do in the old days of, uh, of MLS with a run yeah. line yeah. it would have been interesting but it's a conventional take and uh, clearly using the uh, side of his uh, left foot in the ball, instead of uh, skewing it at the last second kept it straight I guess for a left penalty taker normally they go into the opposite side to the goalkeeper's left and that is what uh, the goalkeeper was anticipating the Sohanolo Majoro who returns to Amazon a couple of years ago and makes no mistake sending Boomer the wrong way a player who has contested the Carling Black Label Cup in both the colors of Chiefs and Pirates wasn't able to get on the score sheets against Mamelodi Sundowns in the semi-final but converts his pen. Vuma as well, thinking that the Majoro maybe at the last second is going to twist his boot around to go for his left. These are difficult ones for the goalkeepers. Well they came out specifically for the shootout so that would have been the only thing occupying these players minds. You would expect a lot of very good penalties as our uh, first defender tries to convert and it's saved by Mortua. Now that's disappointing for Kunika and Veli Mortua gives Amazulu the advantage. Where did Veli, Veli Mortua go? Mm -hmm. A right footed player will try and turn it to the goalkeeper's right and uh, so if, if he goes with his right. So those are the easy ones for the goalkeepers. And most goalkeepers they basically anticipate this. And the slightest of changes into the take uh, will send the goalkeeper the wrong way. Excellent save nonetheless. <laughs> well there was an immediate stop of that line eh? It was all going nicely up until Chiefs considered. I was a loose captain. Makaseni Makaula. Turns 33 this week. And Amazulu retain their advantage as the skipper converts. Once again, Puma goes the way that he thought is more likely to go, but uh, excellently executed by Makaula. Sometimes you think to yourself, which is better to just wait up until the kick is taken? 
Because sometimes when you look at it, the ball doesn't fly too far from where you'd have been had you remained in that position. Frosler. Ruth Frosler takes a few steps. Good penalty from the fullback. Gets the pair of Aveli Motor, who once again anticipated. Jersey number 18, Ethan Rosso Last second 10 of the hero. Yeah. Open that boot at the very last moment. Another nice take. So it's two all, but Amazulu still have a kick to come. And Ethan Brooks has his penalty saved. It's all level again. Zuma goes the right way. Indeed. And uh, these ones are made even easier if they're mid height, or should I say knee height or hip height. Easy for the goalkeepers, but it can still be difficult if you hit it nice and low or even higher towards the top corner. Piece of cake. Same as Konika's penalty. Yes. So taking Chiefs spot kick is the goalkeeper, Bruce Fuma. I'm thinking, why do you want to put yourself under so much stress as a goalkeeper? Stick to goalkeeping. Oh, 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 oh. He knows it's that's why he, <laughs> he knows exactly he's gonna make a decision. So let me go straight through the center. Well done, son. With Kune watching on, Bimini Mano would have been proud of that penalty. A man who knows his route to goal from 12 yards, that's for sure. Down the middle. That's <laughs> not nice to be beaten by another goalkeeper. So very much as used to be saying. This is the Zambian Rally Boalia. Man Games from Vuma. <laughs> it's like uh, when he says, let's see about that, son. <laughs> Cedric Mubali having none of it. It's a big boy, please say. Yeah, he is. that area one with the other and uh, Riley fell for it well the advantage transfers now to Kaiser Chiefs the, the second left wing player that missed uh, the penalty shot this afternoon eh? if you think of uh, the shootout that happened earlier Shanti who's the other the Kaiser Chiefs just need to convert this and they will have won the shootout coming from a disadvantage and all the pressure is on the shoulders of young Wandile Duba scores for fun in the reserve league come on son <laughs> <laughs> carrying the whole all the MIT I'm a crossy fans here and Duba that's brilliance from the young man. Well, no 